What's going on guys, CWG here, welcome to episode 53 of the Vault Hunters SMB. Did you know there's 53 jelly beans in my mouth right now? Wait, what? Uh, congratulations, Admiral Medusa, on your impressive feat. And just so you know, I was the 53rd upvote. <laughs> So what's going on guys, welcome to the episode, in between, me and some other peeps on the server ran a 15 times living vault, yeah, 375% more living chests, it was insane. We got so lucky to be able to add that many catalyze to one crystal. So uh, let's jump into the clip of running that vault and getting an insane amount of living chests. So we're about to run a 15 living, 15 random negative with 375% living chests. That's insane. I'm ready. Oh yeah, I'll use my giant's heart for more health. I'm ready to die. It was for the memes. It's Let's go. All right, what are we going to get for the negative modifier? Oh, rapid, rapid draining, this? chunky, shorted, wild. Oh, there's only one wild. Ah, this is easy. <gasps> That's okay, good. That's fine. They're gonna be fast. They're gonna be chonky. They're gonna be angy. And it's angy. a sweet it's theme. It's a sweet theme. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Many Not pussies. the gummy bears. All right, we're looking for living POIs because there's a ah, okay. there's a whole bunch of them. Oh, I found a living POI. Look how many living chests there are. Oh my goodness. Oh God, this is hard. crazy. Oh my gosh, let's see how much elixir it gives us. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at all these living oh chests, dear. Cat. It's like Christmas. Here, I'll mine this one. You can have the rest. Mm. Oh God, oh would you stop goodness. giving out? Yeah. Yes. Shoot! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one doesn't break. Oh, it might have How activated some traps. Speed run. I just need a little bit more elixir. Come on, game. I'm at the explanation point. And we got a bit of lemons. No. Uh, you're in the vault on I'm your own. I'm sorry, I just oh. I did well. clear the vault though. There was a uh, there was a baby gummy bear in the entrance room. Gildens aren't worth that much. Wait, there's coins. <laughs> coins are usually worth a lot. But See, Dubs, there's only like 30 <laughs> seconds left. <laughs> Must complete. I just mined through the floor. Oh I need, I need more. God. I need another POI. Come on, something. Gabe, please. Uh oh, tick, tick, tick. <laughs> you don't have any bitter lemons? <laughs> All right, there's some bobs. Kill bobs. Surely you have some kiwis. <sighs> he has Talk bitter to lemons. Us, I just have a sliver <laughs> left. Wait, is this a POI that I haven't looted yet? Eat some kiwis. Eat. 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 I'm going for completion. I'm so close. Oh my goodness. I you just, can still eat and complete. I just need a few more chests. <laughs> oh wow. He's I put the lemons into now, an guys. urn. I <laughs> 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 literally put them in there and break them back open. Uh, <laughs> no, it's poison. It wasn't even a wooden chest. Oh my goodness. You should get a elixir for uh, poison. Just saying. Yeah. Oh, oh wait, I, I did it! Find the lodestone! You did it? Oh, I got it. That was way more stressful. That was like literally okay. the last chest of that POI. I'm watching oh your next goodness. episode for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see uh, that. That was stressful. <laughs> Where are my lemons? Yeah, pretty cool, huh? We ended up getting like 250 knowledge essence and 100 skill essence from that vault. Absolute insanity. I'm loving the new Catali and messing around with them. Also, in between episodes, I have been slowly working on the tunnel that's going to end up connecting to the south side of the train station. As you can see here, I've already dug a tunnel through here. Now, this tunnel goes clear through our mountain, right to the other side, right underneath the base monster. So, it, that looks kind of cool. Then, there's going to be a little bit of a bridge, I think, and then it's going to go down here. Whee! and then go sideways a bit and then we ran into water yeah there's like a huge underwater cave system that i keep running into while i'm trying to dig this tunnel which is annoying now one of the hardest parts of this big project is like decorating the tunnels putting down the rake's gravel and stuff and i was thinking there's a mod that could help me out with this process like a lot and that mod is called building gadgets Building gadgets will allow us to place a whole bunch of blocks at once. This could help us when placing down all the blocks for like fortuning. It could help us lay down and decorate these tunnels. I am very interested in them. So I say we go unlock it. Now to unlock it, it's going to cost 14 knowledge stars. And I'm not going to forget this time that we have three unspent knowledge points already. So we need to make 11 knowledge stars. So that means we got to fortune up some Betty boys. Mm. Wow, we got exactly two stacks from that. Impressive. 
So we should be able to make 11 knowledge cores. And we're going to spend all that knowledge essence we've been getting. Look at that, 1.3k knowledge essence. That is impressive. So we should be able to make 11 stars, no problem. Consume. And unlock building gadgets. Now, they did make a change that in order to unlock automatic genius now, which is what gives you auto crafting like we had last season, you have to unlock all the mods. So we shouldn't feel too bad about unlocking mods and making the sections more expensive because we're going to need to unlock all of them eventually. I want my auto crafting. <laughs> Oh, we got the Builder Transmogs. I think that's the transmog that looks like the construction set. Yeah, it is. I think Corey has it. So, how do you craft a building gadget? Good question. Extraordinary layer bar, chromatic steel block. Honestly, not too bad. Boom. Now, the next thing we're going to have to do is charge this guy. We should just be able to throw it in the battery. Boop. Oh, it looks like our chromatic iron from last episode finally finished. We have 11,000 chromatic iron. Nice. So I believe the way this thing works, let's like grab some stone here. You set it down, shift right click with the building gadget. And yeah, look at that. Whatever block you're looking at, it will place a line to that block. That's kind of cool. Now there's a whole bunch of other settings you can change. I just got to figure out what the hotkey is. All right, I have set the hotkey to O. Oh, there we go. Check this out. You can make vertical walls, horizontal walls, stairs. What do stairs look like? I don't exactly know how the stairs is supposed to work, but that's kind of cool. We've got the build to me option that was selected before where, yeah, it does this. What is a grid? Oh, you can place things in a grid. See, this would be useful for a cactus farm, placing down the sand. Oh, maybe because the range was on one. Okay, let's bump up that range. Oh, look at that. Look, you can make a staircase like zoop. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, the building gadgets can do all kinds of cool things. It's going to help us, well, build. I know. Look at this. It even has ray tracing. Ray trace fluid. Well, my graphics card doesn't have ray tracing, but that's still cool. What does surface mode do? Oh, it just allows you to place blocks on a surface. That's cool. All right, let's try this out in a real world application. So the raked gravel for the train tracks is going to be right in the middle of this tunnel. So I set our building gadget to horizontal column and we should just be able to zoop. Nice. Oh, wait, that's not gravel. I got to select the gravel. Place, select, and we should be able to place it like that. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Gone are the days of placing blocks one by one. Let's go. I wonder, can the jungle of chests rake gravel? It can. <laughs> Does that actually use the durability? It does. Okay, we shouldn't do that then. One day we'll break this netherite hoe. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention guys, but we ran bolts in between episodes. I got all these crates. I say we open them. I guess we'll do the thing where we play the music and open the crates. Wow, look at all that stuff. Give me a moment to see what's good. Oh my goodness, we got so many jewels. I'm just gonna smelt all the ones that are above size 40. That's right. If it ain't size 40, it ain't part of the club. All right, well, none of the jewels were that crazy good. We do have an unidentified relic, which is not the red cupcake. Ah, oh, for a second, I thought it was the red cupcake. But we got all this vault gear to roll. Check it out. I'm gonna empty my inventory real quick so we can roll some vault gear. I'll just go ahead and roll it all now and show you guys if there's anything good. Ooh, we got a new transmog, the Tarnished Blade. What does that look like? Oh, <laughs> yo, this thing's epic. Well, the Darth Maul sword was cool and all, but now I want to change it to that. The Tarnished Blade, this thing looks epic. Otherwise, all this gear has sucked so far, but maybe the Epic Plus gear will be good. We got the Soul Eater boots. Well, those aren't that good. And neither's this. And the axe is all right, but it's nothing compared to our sword that we're using. So I guess I'll keep it as a backup. All right, guys, our current bounty is to find some silver scrap. So let's go find some silver scrap. The vaults are calling my name. Looks like we got an Obelai vault with no modifiers. Okay, let the hunt for silver scrap begin. Oh, we got the honey theme one. I heard if we break a flower or some kind of flower, we get something cool. I don't know what type of flower I'm looking for exactly. Oh, we got one of those dragon cave POIs. Now they've buffed the amount of chests that spawn in this by like a lot. I mean, look at all these wooden chests. We're going to be getting our silver scrap in no time, hopefully. Omega. All right, we're doing good. We only need two silver scrap left. Ooh, an ore POI with some black opal. I've been noticing as I level up, there's more and more black opal and pag gems, which is very, very good. Omega. Uh-oh, it's raining skeletons. That means there's a skeleton elite. The most dangerous of the elites. He could do crazy damage. Ah! 
We're just gonna have to be careful and land our crits very well. If you creep just enough distance, he could not reach you. Yes, we got him. That should be worth a lot of XP. Wait, why is there so many husks? Is there another elite in the next room? What? That's a bit insane. <laughs> All right, the husk elite is a much less scary, has less health, does less damage, so yeah. Bye-bye. We still need two more silver scrap though. Oh, well, I guess we don't. It was in that gilded chest. Let's go. Bounty complete. Ooh, we got a diamond ore room. Don't mind if I do. I like diamonds. Omega. Ooh, chest plate. Yeah, I found another one of those ornate cave POIs, and look how many there are in here. You'll love to see it. Something tells me there might be a dungeon in here. Oh, hello. There's mobs in this hole. Oh, oh, there is a dungeon up here. I knew it. A lot of mobs, too. Let's just ghost walk, get in here, break the spotter, eh, and get out. Easy peasy. And we're rewarded with a bunch of wooden chests. I guess I'll take it. Yoink. Omega. Oh All right, let's head out of here. 9,600 XP. Not bad. So let's go ahead and claim our bounty and activate the next one, which is just submit some chromatic iron. Easy, we have 10,000 of that stuff and claim that too. And the next quest is to mine 29 Laramar. Pretty easy, we get two black chromatic steel, activate. We're starting to get some good bounties again, nice. Let's pop them open. There's a decent reach jewel in here, but the other ones suck. Let's roll this gear and see if it's any good. I wonder what level you start getting tier five armor rolls because we're still on tier four. We got an ax with 37 damage and 150% soul chance. Okay, that's a good soul shard farming tool. Oh, speak of the devil, 14 armor. We're finally starting to get tier five armor rolls. Let's go. Although it's kind of a scrappy, so not the best. It also has block chance. I didn't know you could get block chance on gear. Oh, look at this. A 16 armor helmet with plus five armor. This is a 21 armor helmet. Wow. I can't wait till we start getting epic and rare tier five armor stuff. That's what we're really waited for. For now, we'll smelt the scrappy stuff. You guys see this chest? It's colossal. It's actually five by five max size and we've almost filled it completely up now. Like if you see here, look at how many items are in there. Insane. Now there are different tiers of colossal chests because now that we have the max size five by five by five, we're gonna have to start upgrading to copper, then iron, then gold, then diamond. I believe iron has like double the capacity of wood. If you get all the way up to diamond, it's like four times. And all these crafting recipes are nested. Each wall is gonna take four blocks of copper to upgrade, yeah. And then if you wanna get to iron tier, you're gonna need four blocks of iron upgraded onto the copper piece. Yeah, it's all nested. And then if you wanna get gold, it's gold blocks and then diamond, diamond blocks. So yeah, you can see this recipe gets pretty spicy pretty quickly. So what I'm thinking we do is we go to the iron tier because the gold tier costs chromatic steel, which would be incredibly expensive. At least the iron and the copper tier is only chromatic iron. Now I did some calculations. We're gonna need about three and a half thousand copper and three and a half thousand iron for this. Holy crap. So let's check our system and see if we have enough. Now we do have enough copper. We have five and a half thousand copper. And that's mostly thanks to our drowned farm Kajirium setup. It's just makes copper. Now there's something called the chest upgrade tool that we can make, which isn't too expensive. And it says it can upgrade your chest to the next tier if you have all the required items in your inventory. So what I'm assuming we have to do is craft all these iron chest pieces and then right click this onto our chest and it will upgrade. I guess we gonna find out. And you know what I'm realizing? Sure, we have enough copper, but we don't have enough iron. We have almost 3,000 iron, and I think I calculated we need like three and a half thousand. So it means it's time to fortune up all our iron ore. Now with our building gadget, we should be able to like, what, select surface? And then we should be able to place a whole bunch down at once. Let's try it. Put down a uh, iron ore, select it, and jump up in place. Oh my goodness. Let's make a massive pile of iron ore. Oh, we're already out? That was quick. Man, I love this thing. Whee! Fortuning time! Yeah, baby, this is what I've been waiting for. We got a few stacks of raw chromatic iron and that makes how many chunky boys? A little over a stack. Now, luckily I'm pretty sure our mechanism or pentupling is ready to go again. Yep, everything's full. 
Let's start making some iron. So while we're waiting on that iron to get processed, we have 11 mystery eggs. That's 11 chances for a tropical fish. Uh, you're not. That's a pig. That's a rabbit. That's not tropical. I assume a tropical fish egg looks orange. What are you? Oh, we got a salmon egg. Neat. If we can get a salmon and a cod egg, that means we don't have to go to the fish farm anymore, which means I could be even lazier. All right, let's keep trying for that tropical fish. None of those look like tropical fish. What are you? You are greed. A parrot? I wouldn't want to farm a parrot. Plus, don't they only drop feathers? I'm pretty sure. Let me know in the comments. Oh, these ones were cod egg. Okay, so we got cod and salmon, meaning that we'd never have to go to our fish farm again. F's in the comments for the fish farm. So let's slap down our two new friends, the salmon and the cod. Oh my gosh, look, they're on their little sides. Is the cod going to be on its side? Yeah, how adorable. Well, that means literally the last thing that we're missing is the tropical fish, and we're good. Then we can focus on trying to get a wither skeleton. By the way, did I mention we set up a gas one? Look at all those gas tears. That's crazy. Look at all those sponges. Okay, anyways, while the iron is processing, we might as well make the chest cores all the way up to the copper level. Now, according to my calculations, we're going to need 96 of these things. So let's make a stack. Actually, that's pretty easy to make a stack. Just driftwood and chromatic iron. We have tons of that stuff. We actually have three colossal chest walls in the system and a uh, chest core interface. Wait, we already had an upgrade tool as well. When did I make all these things? Maybe they came from mod boxes. All right, so that's 96 colossal chest walls. We have one interface and we're going to have to make one core. And that's going to cost three Laramar. This is too expensive. We can't craft it. I'm just kidding. That's easy. So now we must upgrade them to copper level. So we should blockify all our copper, basically. Zoop. Or at least a good amount of it. Next up, let's make the chest core, which is going to cost a little bit more Laramar. We'll make an interface, which is going to cost a lot of copper. And then I think I just put these in there. Oh, yeah. Time to eat all of our copper. Ooh, man. But hey, we can afford it. Let's go. We even have one and a half thousand copper to spare. We have 700 copper ore. Okay, yeah, we're pretty good in copper. Let's go check out our iron. Uh, 457, that might be enough. I, mean, I guess you don't know till you try. We'll start with the iron chest core. It's gonna cost a chromatic steel. <sighs> Too expensive, can't make it. Just kidding, of course we can. And then we make our chest interface and do we have enough iron? Moment of truth. We do! Let's go! So we have all the chest walls, we have the chest interface and core, and we have the upgrade tool. Can we just upgrade this thing? I command you to upgrade! Yeah! It works! Oh, it even gives you back all the wooden pieces. I thought they would have just been deleted. Achievement get! Iron Colossal Chest! Alright, let's open it up. How much more room is there? Oh, we're not even halfway full now. Let's go! Hopefully this chest will be big enough for a while, and I don't know why it's inverted that every time I open it, it closes. Chest, you're broken! Everybody, it's that time of the month again! No, the fun time of the month, where we do the world tour! This server has been running for four months now with 12 YouTubers. So I want to check out how much progress they've done, starting with Flitty Boy Space. Look, look, the tornado's still here. Y'all remember when we pranked Flynn with the tornado? Huh? <laughs> also, I love this thing. He's got like a stacked layered create farm. And look how fast that thing spins. It goes like, woo, pretty cool. Now I know Flynn has that one patch of dirt that's actually like an elevator. I just have to find it. This piece of dirt looks sus. Yep, it's this one. <laughs> so what has Flynn been working on? It is evil castle. I love the sun metal pillars. It's a cool block. It's got some crate stuffs and things in there. A whole bunch of drawers set up. Oh look, Flynn actually puts uh, void upgrades in his drawers like a good boy. Although I don't know why there's an enchanted diamond axe in there, but that's kind of funny. Flynn has a stack of diamond blocks. Whoa, he rich. What's over this way? You got four relic statues. Okay, that's all right. And the basement that leads to nothing still. I like how there's like the occasional missing stair. It kind of looks like there's an earthquake down here or something. I think Flynn has steam power. Let's get in there. Yeah, look at that. He has a little bit of a lava bucket set up as well. Cool. He's actually using applied energistics to transfer the lava. Now that's pretty fancy. So for the next part of this tour, we're going to be using the trade. All aboard. Our next stop, we're going to be going across the Bridge of Friendship to see what Peeporp has been up to. And look, we can already see something different. First of all, let's reload our textures to fix the bugginess. There we go. Peep has actually been building these massive andesite walls holding up this part of the train station. This looks insanely cool. Let's go ahead and park in the station here. First of all, look at this. 
Peepborp has a train. I believe it's, uh, let's look. Peepborp the tank engine. <laughs> it's got his head on the front. That's hilarious. He made the train using the dark prismarine. I think this looks pretty cool. Nice pipe for aesthetics. A little bit of a steering wheel. That's cool. Man, I'm loving the train infrastructure on the server. Here's this little waste stone. So this is how you enter and oh, check this out. One of the coolest create contraptions on the server so far. You walk over the pressure plate and yeah, it opens the door. That's sick. Once we eventually get into like mega base stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it eventually. We got to have something cool like this. That's awesome. I think the other pressure plates right here. Look, it's a dirt pressure plate using frame blocks and it should close again. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Oh, this is new. People are like a little garden here. Look at this custom tree. That's awesome. Using the frame fences to make branches. That's such a good idea. Oh, man. Every time I come here, I get like inspired to like build some stuff. Look at the little boss arch. That's cool. Did I say arch? I meant arc. What? 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 Royed boy. <laughs> uh, this is such a, a zen feeling garden. That's awesome. All right, let's get into the castle. Let's see what's new. I want to focus this tour on the new stuff that we haven't seen during the last tour. Stir cat's always watching. So last time we did the tour, Peepwarp has built this throne room, which looks pretty sick. I think this is new. There's like a tower here. I think there's an elevator. Yep, you can get to the top of the tower. Cool. I'm curious what Peepwarp's gonna do with this part of the castle, which is like right above the train tracks. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Anything new down here? A bunch of armor stands. There's the donkey head. That's pretty funny. Otherwise, I think that's about all the new stuff. Look at that, the rainbow hair skin. Actually, I think uh, Peep has been building some stuff down here. There's like a place to turn around your train, which we will be needing to use. Also, this is Peep's uh, create basement. There's like some create stuff down there. Pretty cool. Well, let's hop back into our train and go to our next destination. And let's see if we could actually use this roundabout. Here we go. Whee! Oh, this is kind of cool. Whee! Oh man, not a, lot, not a lot of room down here, but you know, it works. Oh, there we go. Back across the bridge of friendship. Next stop, we got the Cod, the Code Man himself. You can see on top of his big tower, there's like a satellite dish, which is pretty cool. Also, look at this. It's like an interstate bypass here. We'll hop out here. Look, Express One, Code Bypass turned down. That's hilarious. I also like the lights. That's pretty cool. Oh, the lights actually have a purpose. It detects whether someone is parked on this section of the track. Oh, well, that's pretty fancy. All right, so what's new? This is new. Code's got some art. Say no to Geargor. The Midland Railway. Whoa, this is cool. Oh, it's like a little picture of the train with the different bases, the base monster. Cupid WG. I must say, you guys in the community have made some awesome art. And I'm glad we've been able to, like, show it off across the server. It just brings a smile to my face. All right, let's go upstairs. I believe one of these is an elevator block. Yes. Looks like Code's got his little mechanism machines here. And I want to see the satellite dish. Can we, like, fly to the top? Yeah, look at this thing. Oh, is this... What block is this? Illuminated black block. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, Code's definitely going that futuristic theme. I think it's pretty sick. Oh, and you get an amazing view of Fuzzy Space. We're about to go there, don't worry. Let's see if we can land back into our train here. Nice. We gotta get moving before that creeper detects us. Next stop is Fuzzy Space. And wow, Fuzzy's been doing a lot of work on the exterior of this. Wow, that's cool. Look at those trees. We'll go check those out in a second. For now, let's go into the tunnel. Oh, it looks like Fuzzy added some lanterns. Nice. Before, it was like super dark in here. All right, let's park at the station. And yeah, this train station looks really cool. You got Fuzzy's train over there. Let's go up into the castle. And yeah, this, this place is just huge. We already know that. I want to see the new stuff, like these trees. Oh, so he's using the twisted wood along with sunny blossom leaves, warp blossom. I don't know where he found all these cool looking leaves, but this is an awesome tree. Wow. All right, let's sleep away the rain. It's always raining. Looks like he's got another custom tree over there. Is this shulker box full of building materials? Yeah, it is. Whoa, look at all these cool leaves. Did he get so many of them? I don't know, but like, let's pop into free camp here because it's hard to give like the full scale of the entrance of this place. It's so cool looking. Like it's pretty much its own like custom biome at this point. This is awesome. And Fuzzy has stuff in like each of these towers. Like if we go down a level, I think you could go to like each of them. Like there's the botanic tower. I don't even know what that means. Oh, 
botany pots. I see. Not Britannia. Where does this one go? To the mechanism. I like mechanism. Oh, it's got a few mechanism machines here. Okay. We got the Create Factory. <laughs> I think he was, like, just working on this. Oh, boy, that's a lot of create stuff. I don't know if he made a video on it yet. Spoilers. Wait, was Fuzzy in there? Oh, look, it's a Fuzzy. He must be AFK. That's all right. He doesn't know that we're stalking him. What the heck is going on outside? I just noticed that. Looks like Fuzzy be towering up with those ores. Nice. We're gonna have to make our own ore towers. We can't just let this flex. <gasps> Four echo ore. I want them. All right, well, let's get back to the train station. Oh, yeah. I don't know if we saw this last world tour, but he's got a, an epic clock tower at the top. Wait, we must be on the wrong side. Yes, an epic clock tower. See, it's got like the little uh, neon lights from the Simply Lights mod to actually show the time. That's really cool. Deaths by lava, nine. <laughs> All right, let's hop back in the train and go to our next destination. Let's crank up the max speed here because this part is kind of long. Yep, that massive cave is still there. That's for sure. And we are going to our leader. That, of course, is Evit, our vault champion of the month. She's got her moving tower. Little turnip man on the top. Whee! Oh, look at this. A windmill. Let's land on it. Ooh. You spin me right round, baby. Right round. Now, I know she's been working on her basement stuffs and things. So let's go down there. RGB go burr. <laughs> this must be her uh, legacy pick, right? Yeah. Oh, she's got the centerpiece uh, artifact. Nice. Okay, this has to be one of my favorite parts about her base. Is there uh, the compacting drawers that she's using? She's using the uh, the frame drawers, and I think it's like a sun metal outside with limestone inside. Like that looks really cool. What type of chest is that? Prismarine. Okay, that looks pretty sick. Ooh, look at all those inscriptions. Oh, chromatic logs. I don't know if I showed this off to y'all. Chromatic logs. Is that not cool? This is what we use to build the bee thing at MechCreate Island. Because you can use these stripped logs and make beams out of them. Look, you can even make like chromatic desk, chromatic couches, chromatic kitchens, chromatic windows. You can make chromatic everything. I love that the devs went out of their way to add it. There's a chromatic chest. <gasps> it's beautiful. I did not know you could make a chest out of it. That's so cool. Oh no, Evit. What have you done to Fuzzy? even got little feetsies oh my goodness that's savage of it that's just savage this is a frame chest that's sus okay i think we showed this off last tour but she has like a fully automatic trade system to get lava from the nether and i keep walking on top of the trade that's weird and then she also uses the lava to power her system now that's just smart now let's turn our trade around here and hopefully by next tour We'll be able to get to everyone's base by train. I mean, that is the rule for the month. Now I'm gonna clap my hands and we're gonna teleport to Cory's base. Whoa, we're at Cory's base. AKA the base with the best interior on the server. This is so cool. Even hangs his keys from a key rack. That's so cool. All right, that's enough looking at the interior. We already know Cory's house is cool. What cory has been working on is out here. He's got a trampoline. That's pretty fun. And he's also got a windmill up here, and I think this thing looks sick. It's got like a little flagpole on it. I love their, their barbed wire fences. That's super cool. And this is his uh, drilling operation. He's been using uh, like create rope pulleys to drill holes all the way down to bedrock. Why is he doing it? I don't know. Maybe he's searching for oil. So you have to be careful about the random like hole around here. But it's kind of got a cool vibe to it. Like this whole thing is an industrial landscape. Big hole here. Oh, crane. Huh? Oh, maybe he's building a crane here? I have no idea. Hot work? What? Needless to say, Corey's working on some interesting stuff. So we'll have to keep a tab on this. Next up, Hell's Hole. We're just going to go directly inside instead of trying to find this place. Now, I have no idea what Hell's been working on recently. His layer mark cube cannot be contained. We know that. I think what he's been working on is stuff that I can't actually see. Wait, he's also got a max size iron colossal chest? Bruh. He's also got over 10,000 chromatic iron? Bruh. Well, I don't think there's much more to check out. I would go into this hallway, but there's nothing in there. Oh yeah, last time Hell did a live stream, I sent him something in his mailbox, and then he realized that he had like things in his mailbox from months ago. So I installed like a little light system that will light up whenever there's mail. Having mail detection is very important. Otherwise, how do you know you got mail? 
Next up, we go to Rob's base. Now, I don't think there's anything new on the inside of his base, but I know he's been working a lot on the outside, which I can't wait to show you guys. I just want to double check and make sure there's nothing new. Yeah, we've seen that. We've seen these great things. Honestly, the whole color palette and vibe of this place is awesome. All right, let's go outside and show all the cool stuff he's been working on. And yeah, check it out. His base is pretty much turning into his own custom biome as well. He has all these abyssal lead things. You know, the same things that we use for the dragon's heart. Actually, before it was kind of like pulsing. Now it's all kind of lit up. I wonder if that's supposed to be like that. Okay, this I have not seen this before. There's like a crane with a chest. Collaboration is the key to success. What? What's in that chest? Oh, look at all those key pieces. Yeah, I got no idea what's going on here, but it looks kind of cool. Now, all this is new too. Look at these trees. They're made with plastic blocks, concrete, moss, and dripstone bricks. Now that is a very unique custom tree, but that's kind of Rob's style. Rob always builds like very unique stuff and is a very like outside of the box thinker, which is why his builds are just so cool looking. Like just look at all this plastic. And of course, there's this. He decorated his iron farm into like a massive double tower thing. And as you guys saw, like it was like an episode or two ago, he's got the lightning things at the top of these. So wh whenever it thunderstorms, it just goes nuts. And I love the way it's like creeping up the mountain. Like it's almost becoming tainted. Yeah, Rob's been going ham this past month. And I'm super excited to see what else he ends up getting into. Wait, what's up here? Oh, that's where his villagers are. Okay, I think that's always been there. Now, before we go to Stircat space, I want to show you guys the gaming district. Look, the hole has been dug. Me, Rob, and Code have finished mining this massive hole. Look at it. It doesn't even look real. Like, look at all the torches, the scale of this place. It is a 100 by 100 hole that goes down like well over 100 blocks. So according to my calculations, we have removed 1 million blocks from this hole. This is insane. And it looks like Rob's already started to work on the mini game, which I don't want to spoil yet, but it's going to be awesome. Also, look at all the ores that we dug up from this. It's pretty crazy. Also, also, there's a geode over there that we kept. There's also a geode over there, and this is the biggest geode I've ever seen in Minecraft. Let's go up there so y'all can get a scale of the size of this geode. I think there's like an entrance right here. Yeah, look how big this geode is. Have you guys ever seen a geode this big before? Let me know in the comments, but this is the biggest geode I've ever seen. It's the biggest geode I've ever seen. All right, next up we got Stircat. Stircat's always watching. Wait, this is her old base. We gotta go to her new base, which is Stircat's town. Look at this, sick looking house. I love the use of the warped wood, as well as the cobblestone bricks also look cool. What is this? Looks like she's been farming moss and oak logs. And over there, I believe she's working on a wall. Now, I don't know if she plans on having this wall like go all the way around this mountain because that's huge. Also, you get a good view of Fuzzy's base from here as well. So yeah, Stircat's town, her mega base in progress. She's one of the great builders of the server, so you know it's gonna end up looking cool at the end. Like, look at that fog effect floor. It's so pretty and purple. Twisting black stone bricks. That looks pretty cool. That's a big chicken. 976 chickens, wow. But yeah, just cool stuff going on. I like this set, that's a cool set. It's a torch with a bamboo staff. You got the cheese head. You got, I like this one. This is the trash set with like the Dowski secret trans mods. If you guys haven't seen this before, it's pretty cool. I would like the shield, please. Yeah, it's like a trash can shield. It like straps to your arm. Now I think we have fire tick off of the server, so this shouldn't burn down our house, I hope. But if you trigger the block chance, look what happens. Well, I guess being on fire isn't the best example, actually. Here, we'll use a cactus. Look, a little Dowski head pops out. See it? <laughs> Actually, the best way to see it is probably free cam, so we're gonna have to be quick before we die. Look, there's a little Dowski in there. It's so adorable. <laughs> All right, let's put Stircat's stuff back. I'm having too much fun. Now, if we fly just past Rob's towers here, we arrive at Chris's base, but I know Chris isn't even here anymore. He's moving to a mega base that's like really far away. Like, I think it's somewhere out here. I have no idea where it is. 
So I guess we'll have to wait till next month to show that off because I literally have no idea where to go. Also, I don't want to spoil anything because I know everything he's working on over there is pretty new. Last but not least, we got Zinji's face and he's got the UFO that just crash landed that I think looks pretty cool. I think there's an elevator right here. Yep, people like their hidden elevators. And it looks like he's got a little bit of stuff and things set up here. Corundum clusters are cool. Ooh, it looks like he even has some crates he's gonna open in his episode. Nice. So yeah, he's been pretty busy this month for sure. Welcome back to the world of living. Maybe stop dying? What? <laughs> Maybe Zinji died in the vault or something. I don't know. And yeah, that wraps up this month's world tour. Everyone has made amazing progress. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments of everyone's base. I must ask one thing. Fuzzy, Peeporp, and Cory are getting so close to a thousand subscribers. Once you hit a thousand subscribers, you can become monetized. So please do it for me. Go to the description and subscribe to those three. I mean, everyone on the server is underrated. So trust me, you won't be disappointed. And with that, it's Meme of the Daytime, and you guys gave me the awesome idea that we should put our future memes inside of the tunnels. And that's a great idea. Plus, it means I don't have to build more stuff, because I'm lazy. Today's meme comes from Kiwi from the Discord. CWG, Terra Shatter 3.0. Terra Shatter 2.0. The original Terra Shatter. <laughs> and with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. CWG, out.